Now, believe it or not, Australia was once a leader in the space race. We were the second most active launch and tracking service in the Western world, playing a major role in the Apollo missions. But for almost 50 years, we really haven't put anything into the space race. However, a group of space enthusiasts plans to change all that and launch Australia back into the biz, building a 100% Australian-made spacecraft. And the pilot may surprise you, as 7 News correspondent David Richardson found out. Light up. Lift off. November 29th, 1967. And in the South Australian outback at the Woomera Test Range, Australia launches its first satellite. The launch of RESAT, or Weapons Research Establishment Satellite, made this country just the seventh on the planet to launch a satellite, only the fourth from its own soil. But this launch was to prove to be our last into space. And we've never been back until now. We need to get back where the money is. And there's a lot of money to be had in actually being involved in the spacecraft business. This daring move back into space is called Project Thunderstruck. A small team of space enthusiasts and developers wanting to launch Australia back onto the final frontier. A type of spacecraft, not a single spacecraft. So people can order spacecraft, we'll put it together to suit their needs and then put it on an appropriate rocket and get it into uh, space for them to do whatever they want to do. But before liftoff can even be imagined, Thunderstruck will have to do hundreds of hours of testing. Enter this unmanned, remote-controlled glider, which will be the first step back into space. And you'll never believe who's going to fly this glider. Hi, I'm Jason. Yep, a 12-year-old boy, Jason Brand. I'm honoured to have have all this capability, you know, um, I'm so grateful of my father, you know, he lets, lets me do quite a bit of stuff. He said, Dad, I can do this, let me do it please, and we've taken the, uh, uh, the pathway that if we build the electronics to be very robust in the craft and the navigation systems, he can fly it. We can uh, make sure it locks on the tail so it uh, doesn't side slip at all. Father and son team Robert and Jason Brand are devising the glider which they hope will break world records and begin our quest into space. And this is what they're going to do. A specially built glider will be hoisted by a massive balloon 45 kilometres into the air. It will then be dropped like a rock with a 12 year old piloting by remote control. I'm going to be on the ground looking through goggles or screens or something to a uh and flying through a little camera on the nose. To fly it, we're going to have, you know, something you'd f f see on your, uh, you know... Um... Game Boys or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Television Game Boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just like playing a video game on yeah. your TV. Yeah, it is. And you're flying. Yeah, it's going to be... It's for real this time, though. But it's just going to come nose down in a dive, which will take it supersonic. I don't think we'll reach Mark II, but we're going to get very close, at least Mark I at 1.5. So we might be approaching the same speed the Concorde uh, flew at, but it won't be for very long. Long enough, though, to test the avionics, navigation systems, even the material used to build the glider, not to mention valuable experience for a teenage pilot. You broke 1.5, Mark 1.5. Yeah. Does that make you the fastest kid in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be a wild ride. We're going to have probably uh, world records, a lot of world records broken. If the glider flight goes off without a hitch, it will be one small step in Australia's return to space, but one giant leap for an Australian teenager. This is America's Sierra Nevada Corporation version of what the brands are hoping to create. They've already conducted their free flight tests of the Dreamcatcher, like mini space shuttles, cheaper and more efficient delivering into space. But uh, I intend to make this a service rather than selling them a spacecraft, so we look after everything. We'll get the rocket, we'll uh, organise the launch point, we'll track it out into the solar system wherever it's got to go. The brands will fine-tune their glider design over the next couple of months, then build the glider and aim to launch in June this year in outback Queensland. Then they'll design and build a spaceship boldly going where no Australian has gone for almost 50 years.